I've driven countless hours with both of these shifters. I'm not saying I'm a professional, but I do have some experience. Today, we're gonna compare these two short throw shifters, the Cart Boy and the Cobb Double Adjustable. The Cobb Black Anodized Billet Shifter Body is CNC machined from 6061 aluminum, while the Cart Boy Shifter is CNC and TIG welded from 310 Chromoly. Chromoly. They're both metal. I guess I uh, didn't know all that stuff was metal. Chromoly steel is much denser than aluminum, making it stronger and more durable. Its resistance to corrosion makes it a popular material for military aircrafts, commercial cars. And you may not know this, but steel also absorbs more vibrations than aluminum. Who knew? But alas, aluminum does have its place for it is lighter and a cheaper material. Aluminum versus steel is usually a biker's problem. <laughs> not those bikers. So honestly, does this make a difference? The shock absorption of the chromoly steel is a bonus, but in reality for your daily driver, it really doesn't make a difference. And the strength of the material itself may seem like a big deal, but it really isn't. <laughs> like what are the chances that you're gonna snap your freaking shifter? <sighs> the more length you have below the fulcrum, the shorter the throw will be. So lengthening the cob shifter below will give a shorter throw, while shortening it will give a longer throw. So adjusting the cob shifter will give you up to a 25% shorter throw. And if that's too short, you can adjust it for a 10% longer throw. I guess if you just want that bus driver vibe. But if you want an even shorter throw, according to the manufacturer, the Carboy short throw shifter will reduce your throw by 40%. All right, this is the Carboy shifter. Neutral is at about two and a half inches from the top of the boot. Shifting forward is at about two inches. Shifting back is at about three and a half inches, which gives us a throw of about one and a half inches. This is Cobb shifter set to the shortest setting. Neutral is at three and a half inches. It has a throw of about two and a quarter inches. At the longest setting, neutral is at about three inches. The throw is about one and three quarters inches. You can adjust the shifter to any height in between these two heights, but adjusting it to the middle puts neutral at about three and a quarter inches, and it has a throw of about two inches. You'll notice that the height of the shifter is much lower than the carboy. Here's a comparison of the heights. What does all this mean? Carboy will always give you a shorter throw, but it's stationary. The Cobb adjustable shifter will always give you a longer throw than the Carboy, but Cobb allows you to adjust where the shift knob is. Okay, skip the math and science. Because in the end, what matters most is how it frickin' feels while you're driving it. Manual transmissions kind of feel like a relic of the past, but for those of us who still know this lost art form of driving a stick, it adds a lot to the enjoyment of driving. So if I were to choose my favorite of the two, it would have to be the Carboy shifter. It's just an overall better experience. Of course this is just personal preference, but the shorter throw of the Carboy combined with the little angle of the shifter itself, it just feels more solid. I would imagine if you use the shift knob that's more stick-like, it could feel a bit funny with an angle, so you might prefer the straight up and down shifter that Cobb provides. But me, I like balls in my hand, so I'm gonna have to go with the Carboy shifter. If you found this video useful, give this video a like and subscribe for more Subaru content. I'll see you in the next install. Bye.